Welcome to DEF CON 3. I'm KT McFarland. The United States is flying surveillance drones over Syria. The question is why? There's nobody better to ask than General Bob Scales, who's the Fox News military analyst. General Scales, why are we flying drones over Syria right now? Well, frankly, KT, uh, for two reasons. Number one, as anyone will tell you in this business, there's this huge intelligence black hole over ISIS. When ISIS swept through uh, eastern Syria and northern Iraq, they literally swept away every means for the United States uh, to be able to look down. And it's had a terrible effect on our ability to see the battlefield. So the first thing is to reestablish that intelligence network so of, of human beings and signals intelligence and overhead intelligence such that we can know what's going on. And secondly, and probably more importantly, is it's the opening round, if you will, or the first stage in a direct action campaign against ISIS in Syria. Because remember now, Syria is the center of gravity or the heartland of ISIS, not Iraq. And until you assail them uh, at their core, if you attack them uh, at their center of gravity, only then, ultimately, will you, we have success against ISIS. Okay, well, General Scales, then, is this the first round in another Iraq war, but this time it'll be in a Syrian war? It's a war of a different sort, KT. First of all, instead of shock and awe, this campaign is going to be a very gradual step to fair with decision points by the president and the JCS uh, at each of those steps. It'll start off with reconnaissance, that it'll go to probably direct action raids, and eventually in time, uh, airstrikes, and perhaps later on, intervention by some of our allies, particularly the, the Kurds uh, uh, and the Iraqis, one would hope, the Turks uh, over time. So the campaign will be, uh, will have many, many, many different dimensions. It will be very gradual. Perhaps it could last for years. But the ultimate object uh, is exactly the same, uh, and that's to destroy the core of ISIS, to, to literally uh, uh, chop off its head and destroy the leadership and the thought is if we do that uh, the whole organization over time will shatter problem is as you know kt the head and the heart and the brain of isis is in syria not iraq all right well yeah we've seen how quickly um, isis has moved through syria and into iraq and you're talking about a bombing campaign that would then potentially lead to boots on the ground. Not our boots, maybe, as you pointed out, but other boots on the ground. How effective would this be? I mean, is the bombing a standalone operation? Will it come no. in time? No. Well, in time is the, is the real question, because all wars have a temporal dimension, and, and, uh, and the enemy now holds the advantage. And if, if you hold the initiative, so to speak, uh, you can control the clock, and that's exactly what's happening. In a campaign like this, uh, we have to take the clock away from ISIS. And in order to do that, we have to steep the, the, the strikes against ISIS to get ahead of ISIS' ability to react. Uh, and don't forget, over time, um, uh, an enemy who is a victim of bombing begins to uh, inure himself to, to bombing. He, he gets it. He learns. He adapts. He hides. He goes to ground. He disperses. And so the effective, effectiveness of an air campaign, particularly if it's stretched out over time, diminishes over time, as we're seeing against ISIS in northern, in northern uh, Iraq. So this will not be a hurried campaign, but frankly, from those of us who watch it from afar, perhaps it should be a bit more rapid. All right, well, General Scales, a year ago, we were having the same conversation, right. like a horse of a different color. We were talking about the United States potentially bombing Syria, the chemical weapons sites, and going after President Assad of Syria. Assad must go, as the president very famously said. Now, at the, at the end, the president decided not to bomb Syria. Right. Assad remains in power. But is Assad of Syria one of these potential allies you're talking about that we would... <laughs> with time connect with to try to eliminate ISIS? Okay, KT, to answer that question, let's go back to War College 101. Remember, the thing that's important when you develop a campaign is understanding the end state. A year ago, <clears throat> there was no end state. It was essentially a revenge attack for the use of chemical weapons and an attempt to perhaps unhinge Assad so that the Syrian people would uh, depose him. 
This is different. This isn't about Assad. Uh, it's not even about the Iraqi government. It's about the United States. Uh, the, uh, the strikes against ISIS aren't going to be conducted to prop up the Syrian dictator. It's to remove the ability of ISIS to develop a safe haven, much as al-Qaeda did in Afghanistan 20 years ago, and turn that into a terrorist campaign against Western Europe and the United States. This is not about the regional actors. This is about the safety and security of the American people. This particular event that we're watching unfold, KT, is a world away from what we almost did a year ago. All right, well, General Scales, you know, if you talk about the credible threat to the United States, imminent threat, we've had the Secretary of Defense, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, imply that it was a credible and imminent threat to the United States. And then over the weekend, they, General Jemsey <laughs> said, well, it's not an imminent threat to the United States. Well, is it or isn't it? And if it is an imminent and credible threat to the United States, talk me through how that might happen. Well, well first of all, that, that throttling back that you saw occur over the weekend just infuriated uh, many of the senior leaders in the Pentagon uh, who watched this uh, go by day by day. And oh, by the way, those are the same people who briefed Mr. Hagel and uh, uh, Marty Dempsey on the threat, uh, probably just a few minutes before they, they went on the air. And you saw uh, in, in the face of the Secretary yeah. of Defense something that looked akin to fear because they understand that this metamorphosis that this organization is going through has the ultimate in intent of not only establishing a caliphate, which would be a terrorist safe haven, a sort of sanctuary for building a terrorist force, but ultimately their objective, their end state, is to attack Western Europe and the United States. This is a world away from where we were a year ago when it was all about peace and stability in the Middle East. No, mm -hmm. this is about protecting the American people and the people of Western Europe. And that's why you saw that look in their faces when they were talking to the media, KT. Well, thank you very much, General Bob Scales, Fox News military analyst and a man who has been warning about this threat from the Middle East for an awful long time. You've been right more than anybody else has, General Scales. Well, thank you, KT. Very kind. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us on DEFCON 3.